Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're viewing from. Today is another video and I hope you guys can hear me clearly as there is uh, an advert going on at the back, but I'll try as much as possible and try to dim it and then hopefully my video does not get flagged for a copyright violation. But today is another video and this video was sponsored by Mr. Jason Thomas. Shout out to you, sir. And it is a video, um, I'm doing a walk and I'm presently at the main motor road, Calabar Town, which I think this is where it starts. Um, just where that mango tree is, if I can switch the camera around, guys. Just where that mango tree is, is where it starts. And um, there is a police station just a few walks down that particular side. Say you start to walk from that mango tree and then go down. But this is exactly where I'm, I'm at, at the main road at Cal Alabaster. And I will be walking safe from here. Hopefully end at um, PMB Junction. But we'll start the video. And as always, thanks for the subscription. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. And... We are off. So, this is the main motor road or the old road. I think when you you take a transport, you come all the way at Cal Calvata on the last station where most of the buses park. That is where you come down and then have a few minutes walk to up Jaka um, Lane. And then just a few minutes walk up and then you will meet the main motor road or the old road. But this is where I am presently at and I'm also, I am walking. I am walking as this is a bridge, as you guys can see. It wants to be turned into a dump. My God. So, as you guys can see, guys are down the bridge, I think, collecting bottles and plastic. I don't know what they are going to do with it. This is a shop. As I'm just like other parts, this is also an attractive area of a bustling economic area, as you guys can see, shops on both sides. This is a nice building. I think it's almost completed. So, we are walking. Um, we'll be walking for about an hour. We'll be walking for about an hour. And sorry for any distortion or cracked tone of my voice as here the Amatan is also blowing as you guys can see a lot of shops I think this is also another building that is yet to be completed but as always the downstairs has been open I think that is the pharmacy that is the pharmacy I hope I am capturing both sides of the street perfectly for you guys as I think that is where, that just a few walk down that side, as you guys can see, that is the main road or the new road, and this is the old road. I think that is called Jaka Lane, and still here, still walking. And like I said earlier, this is um, a sponsored video. It is a video that is sponsored by Mr. Jason. Thomas, as I initially stated, shout out to you, sir. And if possible, after I'm done exploring the old road up to um, PMB, where um, the tanker disaster happened since some years ago, um, I'll try and see if I will also be able to do a video of the new road. But for now, this is the old road, and this is 
exactly where we'll explore today. We'll see how far or how best we'll be able to do a particular walkthrough of this area. And as I said, I don't know for others, but for me, this old, old, old road, I think, I don't know for, I don't know for other parts or other sections, but this particular side, I see there are a lot of shops, a lot of traders, a lot of vendors on both sides of the street, just like um, other areas. But I could be wrong, but as I always say, exactly what I see is what you guys see and exactly what the camera captures is exactly what you guys see. So you guys can decide for yourself, but for yourselves, but yeah, this is exactly the condition of the old road, the old Calabar Town Road. And as you guys can see, traders, vendors, shops, that is a foreign exchange bureau, vendors, shops, and I think that is a new building that I think is yet to be completed, that is yet to be com completed. And thanks for the comments, as always, and keep subscribing and sharing my videos and hopefully we'll grow the channel to more than what it is presently so as you guys can see this old road i think this old road is is more packed in terms of traders shops vendors and other businesses unlike the new road don't get me wrong the new road there there are shops at the new road but at this old road there are a lot of traders at this particular road as you guys can see and the buildings and if i can compare this particular old road i can compare it to some of the streets or areas of the west as most of some of the streets and areas of the west at the main road you can see there are tall buildings and exactly some of the streets at the west it is resembling this particular area as you guys can see for yourselves a lot of high rises if i can say that a lot of tall buildings i think this is the market so i think that is the way that route is called pipeline <coughs> And I'll be apologizing as um, in terms of my recording sound, there is nothing I can do right now because I am using a basic headphone or earphone. But I hope as we continue to grow the channel, I'll try and find a more better suiting recording equipment but for now i hope you guys will bear with me i think this is the main calabar town market as you guys can see it is very very crowded i never expect that this is what i'll see you see just like i stated in my last video when you when you are exactly or when you are doing a vlog there are random things that you usually meet on the way which you will not plan you just see it exactly how it is but this is how it is i think this is the calabar town market so i think this is the route that we are going to use this particular route is the particular route that we are going to use up to pmb and hopefully if we have enough recording time but yeah so as i said as you guys can see apart from this section which i think is the market most of the other areas at the main road you can see the buildings there are huge buildings at this particular main road where this market is 
but yeah. So, in terms of size, I think this market is, or this market has a sizable crowd, but I think it is very large because I've been walking for, from where I think the market starts, I've been walking for more than three minutes now and it is still continuing in the distance. The market is still continuing in the distance and The market is still at the distance, but we will continue the video. I hope you guys can hear me and as it is very, very noisy, but this is exactly how it is at the Calabar Town Market. The market that is situated at the old road, I think it still continues in the distance the market still continues in the distance but we'll see where it stops exactly but for now i think here is also where the market extends as this is the main road as you guys can see there are traders vendors on both sides of the street there are traders and vendors on both sides of the street i think this is a huge shop talking about buildings as for the buildings and construction i am very very impressed at some of the buildings at this particular old road as i can compare i can compare i mean the scene or the site of this particular old road to that of the new road because the new road also has a lot of high rise or a lot of tall buildings at the main road but this old road also i think it is also the same as you will hardly notice a, a small building at this particular road but we will see as we go along as as you, you guys can see this is a very very bustling economic part of Cal, Cal Alabama town as you guys can see a lot of traders I had to pause the video as a Shake song was playing at one of the Bluetooth speakers that was being used by a DVD vendor. But we continue the video and we are 12 minutes into the video. Hopefully, we'll be able to cover exactly the destination that we want to. So this is Mantare Lane and we continue, we are still at the old Calabar Town Road and we are still walking. As I can say, there is a lot of shops, a lot of traders at this old road. I mean, I'm very, 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 very impressed. I am impressed because when you are at the main road and when you are passing, you will hardly notice that there are a lot of shops or this particular side of the old road is so packed with traders businesses shops and other and other enterprises but when you actually come at the old road you really really see exactly how the atmosphere is as you guys can see so this is my Ankine junction i think it goes all the way up there so we are still at the main road and I think it is only this part of the main road and that other junction that I showed you guys earlier that is not paved but I think this other side is paved I think all through the way to PMB but we'll see we'll see exactly how how the conditions of this old road is as I can tell you as you guys can see, there are a lot of buildings, a lot of tall buildings at this particular main road. And don't get me wrong, but I am really, really predicting that in a few years, this place will really, really be something else. As you guys can tell, there are 
you can hardly see a very small building at this particular particular road as I continue to emphasize but yeah so as always don't forget to subscribe like share comment and um, yeah and as always shout out to you mr. Jason Thomas as you requested this video and you are the sponsor of this video and so we continue just like I was saying that is another huge building I don't know exactly what its purpose will be but it is a very very huge building as you guys can see it is not completed yet as let's say of 100% I'll say 55% so this is Kooma Street I think it goes all the way there this is the Isaac Ndanema United Methodist Church I think the entrance to the church is just over there so we are still here as you guys can see at the old road I mean there are a lot of theaters at this particular old road there are a lot of theaters at this particular old road and this building it is a very very huge building so I don't know exactly what type of enterprise will be housed inside it once it's completed but if I can pause for a moment before we pass it I'll just try and show you guys exactly how tall or how huge it is so we continue okay so this is Koumalin and I think there's also another huge building I don't know exactly what it will become but it is a huge one and we continue so still at the old Calabar town road I like I said most of this old road it is paved as also the new road but like I showed you guys earlier it, it's it's only that side or that's a very small portion that was not clear I don't know exactly what led to that but yeah so I think we are approaching a very very huge bridge I think this bridge this bridge co connects the Calabatan community I think to that of the Wellington community but we'll walk and try to see I think we are almost completing I think we are almost completing I think we are almost completing the old Calabar Town Road and approaching Wellington but this is exactly where we are at. Like I said, this particular bridge, I think it connects both com communities, that of the Calabar Town community and the Wellington community but I could be wrong but yeah, this is the bridge. I think this is the new one. I think that one over there, that is the old bridge. I don't know if you guys can see it. That one, that is the old bridge, as you guys can see. This is the new one. As I said earlier, this place has developed rapidly over the years. It has really, really developed rapidly over the years, as you guys can see. But... We will continue. I will continue the video and try to show you guys how how improved this particular area has become over the years it has really 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 developed i mean since i started the old road i think it is only this part over that side that i'm seeing a very small house but we'll see as we go along as i'm sure most of the houses at this particular road are very huge houses still at Calabar town and walking we are 19 minutes into the video and as always don't forget to subscribe like share comment to as many comments and share to as many of your contacts as possible this is an also another building I think it is almost completed but I think the downstairs has, has already been in, in use. 
I think an enterprise is there. So this is Gasama Street. As you guys can see, that is Gasama Street. And we continue the video. We continue the video. So we continue, like I said, this is another nice huge building, a two-story, I think. This is also another building. And I think most of these areas around the country, they are similar in nature. By that I mean, um, most of the buildings that are located at the main road, I mean, they are very high, or very tall buildings, and most of the downstairs are normally used for shops and other business enterprises, whilst the upstairs is usually used for residential purposes, as always. So yeah, I think this is a vacant lot. I think it belongs to someone. So we are here, and we continue the video still at Calabar Town. So, as always, most of my videos are very long and I hope you guys have the patience to bear with me until we complete or try to reach the particular destination that I promised you guys. But we are still here and we are continuing the video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, to as many of your contacts as possible and yeah so i think we are approaching the redeemed christian church of god i think that is the building this is an enterprise that i think is selling used freezers and other provisions used freezers and other provisions This is the Modern Metal Furniture Company. I think this is their building inside there. And we continue. I think this is a pharmacy and a foreign exchange bureau. So, I mean, almost living the Calabar Town community behind, I think two of the buildings that come to mind when I am approaching this particular area is that of the Natco factory, which I think in the late 90s and early 2000s was um i think it was a um, company that was manufacturing sweets and biscuits and and other confectionery products but i don't know whether it is still operational as it has taken me a very 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 long time to actually walk this particular end or this particular area as i do, i don't know maybe you guys will disagree but i think this is another nice building venue five venue five at old calabar town road at Old Calabar Town Road, Venue 5, and we are still continuing the video and continuing the walk. So, like I said, we started at where the Old Calabar Town Road started. That was where we started the video, and I am planning to end the video at the um, the SLPMB or Salon Produce Marketing Board, their compound, or the main junction where the Fuel tanker disaster happened some years ago, but we'll try and see because this particular day I am planning to do two videos that of this old road, and then if time permits me, I'll also do another video of the new road. But for now, this particular old road is exactly where I am, and it is exactly what we are exploring today as you guys are coming along with me. So, yeah. I think this is a gambling shop. It's called Buenas.net. This is a store, as, as you guys know, selling used 
clothes, mattresses, boxes, freezers, and others. So, yeah, we're here, still walking, still taking you guys along with me. And, and as always, apologizing for the stabilization of the camera and I think we have left the Calab old Calabar Town Road market at the distance and we are still here. This is Dua Jabi Lane. I think it goes all the way up there. Dua Jabi Lane. And we are still at Calabar Town and still walking. Still at Calabar Town and walking. But We'll, we're almost coming to the end of the video. I think those buildings in the distance, I think that is the Sierra Leone Brewery Limited. That is their compound and the buildings that are housed in that compound, you guys can see in the shot. And I think this is also another bridge that I think connects both communities, the Calabar Town community and that of the Wellington community as we are fast approaching the Wellington community and also leaving the Calabar Town community behind. But we are still at the Calabar Town community and still walking, exploring exactly how it has changed over the years. And just to give you guys a glimpse or a picture of exactly how things have changed over the years. So I think we are still at Calabar Town Road. And as for me, I really don't see the difference between the old road and that of the new road because like I said earlier, I think there is a lot of economic activity that is happening at this old road than that of the new road. But I could be wrong and you, you guys will have a different opinion. But for me, I think that is what I think because where we first and when we approached the market there was a lot of shops a lot of traders a lot of vendors a lot of businesses but i don't know there may be a lot of biz businesses and maybe poor sales but as you guys can see as we are approaching the new year just a few days to go but this is where we are, I think this is a car wash. Ministry of Youth Affairs, Youth Empowerment Projects, Car Wash and Services Project. So this is Hajamari Drive. I think it goes all the way down. So this is Hajamari Drive. I think it goes all the way there. We are still at Calabar Town and I think we are almost living in Calabar Town community at the distance. Like I said, the Sierra Leone Brewery Limited, which I think is the producers of some of the popular alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages in the country. If I can name a few, say Maltina, the Guinness Stout and other beverage products but yeah we continue we continue maybe if I can stop and have a zoom in so you guys can see So we continue the video and so I think we have left the Calabar Town community behind and I think we are presently at the Wellington Industrial Estate 
reach like I was describing I think two of the most popular companies that are here are that of the Saloon Brewery Limited and that of the Natco Factory but I don't think the Natco Factory is still operational I could be wrong but since we are walking we'll try and see I don't know exactly how I'll do it because I want to stop at the junction of the Saloon Brewery where their fence starts and then have a branch to my right and ultimately end at the PMB junction but I want to continue maybe go a little further straight ahead to the Wellington community but I'll see exactly how I'll do it because if possible I'll also try and have another video of the new road today but this is exactly where we are this is exactly where we are and we continue we continue we continue I think we've left the Calabar Town community behind and we are presently at Wellington. I think this is the Wellington Industrial Estate. This is the Wellington Industrial Estate as I am showing you. Guys, that is the compound of the Saloon Brewery Limited. But let's say we'll just walk a few meters to this side and then try and trace our steps back and then try to go all the way down at the PMB junction but we'll use this main road and then try to see how far we will be able to go and try to see how far we'll be able to go so as always subscribe 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 and fire the comment section away like and let's try and grow the channel so i think it is still here but i don't know exactly how its name has been changed but i think it is still here because it was initially called this is the new life in christ ministries this is the building so this is the national confectionery company like i told you guys not cool factory i think this is a very old company it was there say during the the late 90s i think that was when it was established but i could be wrong as it's a very 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 old company as if i can describe it i think that particular company has seen the development or rise of this particular area over the years because say during the late and early 2000s this particular area was not like this but we'll try and see we'll just do the walk and go straight through like i said and then if possible we'll try and trace our steps back and then try to start at the wellington industrial estate complex and then have a walk through down pmb but for now we are still here this is the main motor road wellington and now that i'm approaching here i think there was also um a very popular cinema which i think um i think during the late 19th and early 2000s that cinema was operational i think it was called abu combo but i don't know like i said this area has developed a lot and it is very very difficult for me to pinpoint exactly where it was as you guys can see as during those times this particular road was not as paved or as wide as this or as wide as it is presently but we'll just walk and 
try to see exactly where we or where we'll end the video for today but we are still here i hope you guys can bear with me we are still here and still continuing try to see how best to be able to document how fast or how changed this particular area is i think that particular cinema that i was described i think it was somewhere around this particular side that i'm presently at but so since it has taken a long time for me to come at this particular side and i think where this building is is where the cinema was it's where the cinema was the abu Kombo cinema so that is where it was but we are still continuing and we are at wellington as this particular video it's a very 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 long one we are at wellington i just want to do a whole walkthrough of this particular area and try to map or document it and try to see exactly how it will it will change over the years but we have left Calabar town behind and I'm presently at Wellington I am presently at Wellington and this is the main road the main motor road Wellington this is the main motor road Wellington so this road that leads all through up there is water street as you guys can see i think there are bikes at the junction that usually take passengers to go straight up ahead it's called water street and this is the main motor road wellington still here and still try trying to to see or document how far this particular area has changed over the years and as always subscribe 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 and like share to as many of your contacts and comments so like i said i hope you guys will be able to hear my voice clearly for this video as initially when i was passing the market the calabar town market that was very very crowded and noisy i had to raise my voice a little so for you guys to hear me i hope you guys did hear me clearly but i think here at the main calabar town road it is just the same if i can describe it it's just the same as that of the old calabar town road this main wellington road it is just the same as you guys can see shops on both sides of the street just like the calabar town road i think this is the main or the old wellington road as the new road is just the same a few walks from here and then we'll be at the new road but this is the main motor road or the old Wellington Road, if I can say that, so you guys can see shops around, businesses, this area has changed a lot over the years and I hope you guys will be able to see both sides of the street just for you guys to have a glimpse of exactly how fast growing or how different or changed this particular area has become over the years so yeah we are still here still here documenting i think we'll go a few minutes up ahead and then that is where we'll stop the video and then I'll try and retrace my steps backwards and then try to capture the PMB or Wellington Junction. I think this is also a market at this old Wellington Road. 
So I think this road that goes all the way up, it's called Magnus. I think it goes all the way up there. Still here, walking, talking and vlogging. So this video is a very, 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 very long video. I hope you guys are still not exhausted as we've walked for quite a bit since the start of the old Calabar Town Road and then we are presently at the old Wellington Road. So we continue. So I think this is Maxwell Street. It goes all the way down. Or all the way up rather. It goes all the way up. Hello. So still here. Try to see how far we'll be able to go. Wow. One of my favorite cars. The Suzuki Swift. Reliable, easy to maintain and all. So we continue. I think that is a pharmacy and that is a foreign exchange bureau. And um, For now, I think this is where I will stop the video and hopefully try and catch you guys again at another video. So I'll stop here and then try to see if I'll be able to retrace my steps back and then try to have a shot of PMB exactly how it has changed since that terrible disaster that happened years ago. So welcome back to the channel and we continue the video as I've just retraced my steps back and I'm now walking straight down to the PMB as I'm, I am I started at the Salon Brewery Limited, their compound where it starts and as you guys can see that is the compound, as you guys can see some of the distribution vehicles I think most of them are Toyota Hiluxes and other brands but we'll continue the video as I think this other compound is where the rainbow paints I think that is where I think that is where their manufacturing facility is that is the rainbow paint as you guys can see this is the Salon Brewery Limited their compound as we'll just have a few walks and then ultimately end at PME and try to see how far that particular place has changed but but the memories are still fresh in those that lost their loved ones in that terrible accident and my condolences to all those that lost family members in that disaster and we pray that only God can fill the gap that the loss of the loved ones have left and we continue the video as this is where I'll finally end this particular video for today as you guys have done a great job coming along with me I think this is a police post so there is a police post to my left as I'll just do a walk through do a walk and then ultimately end at the PMB and try to see how far or how the area has moved on since the incident but it is still fresh in people's minds especially like I said those that had family members that lost their lives in that disaster. I think 
there is some construction going on at the Sheridan Brewery Limited. Maybe they want to. I don't know what exactly they want to do here, but I think a new road or access point wants to be built, or maybe a new building, but yeah, we'll continue. And that is our local commercial bank branch. I think it is to my right hand side. It's, it's to my right. So we continue. And as I said, we are approaching the PMB junction where that disaster happened. And that is where we'll stop the video for today. I'll just try and pause the video or try and stop for a few moments, turn the camera around so you guys can see exactly how it has changed since the disaster and then possibly find some time when we'll do a thorough walkthrough of this main road if possible we'll start at the main road at Calabar town and then hopefully go as far as where we stop for this particular video as you guys can see the industrial ultra faces this is the fence so i think this is jola junction as you guys can see this huge fence fences are um they, there are uh, industries that are housed inside these huge fences so i think this particular junction is called jola junction i think it goes all the way through there and this is the local commercial bank building the local commercial bank building and we are almost coming to the end of the video <coughs> and I'm apologizing ahead for maybe my voice will not be as loud as possible and I hope I'll try and find a better recording device or airpiece in the future but for now I hope you guys bear with me with with exactly the setup that I have but yeah we are here and this is Wellington the main junction is down there but this is PMB the junction I think it goes all the way up to where I think the Ceylon Blue will lim limited fence where it starts but as always thanks for the subscriptions thanks for the support and thank you to today's sponsor of this particular video Mr. Jason Thomas and we are coming to the end of this particular video and I'll try and find another time if possible this week to do a walkthrough of this particular main Wellington Road we'll do it the same start at the Calabar Town, the new road, and then possibly see how far we will be able to walk. But yeah, this is the PMB. That is the petrol station, which I think during the disaster, nothing happened to it. Nothing happened to it, but this is the main junction, and this is where 
I'll stop the video for today. I'll just pause and then try to pan the camera around so you guys can see exactly how things have changed during yes, since the incident. So this is where we'll stop the video for today and I'll just try and pan the camera around so you guys can see. And these vehicles that are stopping here are usually the ones that take passengers from Regent's Road and Eastern Police. Usually coming to usually um, they are coming to destination at Wellington, um, Calabar Town and Jue Hastings and other destinations. But this is where I'll stop the video for today and as always subscribe 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 and peace